Well, hello, I'm Chris, and this is my giant Kata Humvee, 1-8 scale, 3,935 pieces. Got five assembly manuals right here, giant pile of blocks. I hope that this thing in real life is as cool as that picture. In my videos, I don't lie, I don't exaggerate. I'm not a Lego maniac, and I don't care to ever be one. I give you an honest review and let you know if this is something that you should spend your money on. I don't know what these are going for now, but I got this from a German toy store on AliExpress for $153. They're 100% interchangeable and 100% rip off of Lego. They, they even copied the way the bag looks from Lego, the plastic it's made out of from Lego, and even the font, even the script stuff on here. Do they make your pieces different? So there's a lot of pieces here. Hopefully it doesn't become a frustrating build. I'm gonna make a prediction that it's gonna take me eight hours to do it. Let me go ahead and build it off camera and we'll see it in a second. This is the best looking building block toy I have ever seen in my life. It is a bit delicate. It's heavy like the Lego Lamborghini. Check this out. They have a spring system where it pops itself open, a little bit of resistance, snaps closed. So it has two springs for each wheel. It is a bit stiff, but that's to compensate for the weight. So the rear hatch is spring loaded, just like the doors, a little bit of resistance, snaps it closed. So I forgot the recommended age for this, but I'm gonna call it around at least 12 or 13. So then the instructions, it's gonna have you make your rounds and test the different functions as you spin that wheel. And I had the lockers where they weren't doing anything and I had to take everything back apart in there and it took me about an hour. So our kids even gonna know what lockers are to begin with. That's why I would set the age, maybe 12 or 13 years old. You're gonna have the winch, the lockers, the turret, and then the center of the turret for the machine gun. I don't wanna show any of that, ruin it for you. I'm sure there's other videos that show every little detail. I'm gonna let you figure that out. But you remove this top and you have a turret up there, one that's gonna spin the gun and then another turret that's gonna shoot a different gun. There's two different guns that you make, and look at that, we broke it. That's the kind of stuff that the weight of this will do. Luckily, it was just that. See all that play in there? I'm just bringing that up because there are motorized instructions for it. Honestly, I would not motorize this in a million years. It just weighs way too much. It just reminds me of an infant baby. You gotta be a little careful the way you pick it up some little windshield wipers i guess that's an air cleaner and to open the hood i want you to take these little things off each side flip that forward and then this completely flips forward okay it's got a flat plane v8 in there which is very cool notice the double springs for each wheel very stiff but functional okay, i'm just noticing my steering is backwards all right that's a little prop for the hood so let's talk about the quirky things or annoying things. Pieces don't fit right. The simulated hood latches, they've already fell off three times. I hope I don't lose them. I guess you could put some hot glue on it. Um, well, look right, what happened right here. This kind of clunkiness does not bother me. These doors are awesome. Nothing bad to say about that. It's not really connected right here at the pillar. If you want to nitpick, does not bother me. Still love it. So it has a working winch. Take this off. Has a pretty decent length of cord or rope very cool love this winch so much the bumper looks good grill looks good but notice we don't have no headlights a little quirk these things will not stick in there this one will stay this one absolutely will not stay i didn't know or i would have changed it to a different piece with a better fit but it was too late we have to take everything apart and they will fall out so i might put some hot glue on them once i display them but very good looking front end on the Hummer. They nailed it. I love every single inch of this. I love all of that. The doors, I love that. Love the rockers. Every single inch of this Hummer is awesome. And this model also gives you a ton of room for customization. You wanna put a winch on the back, do something with this hatch, put some fake speakers in there, whatever you wanna do, you can do it. There's all kinds of room on this interior. The seats were a little annoying to build in my opinion, but they turned out looking real good. They're in there good as well. So as far as all the gearbox and transmission, it's for the turret, the winch, and the lockers. The engine is just one speed. 
The diffs are open right now. We can turn that little wheel and lock everything in four wheel drive, locked all the way around so all four wheels will turn forward at the same time. Puts a little bit more strain on the engine. So I want you to notice this, the thing weighs so much and we're just playing around with it on the table and you saw that wheel get knocked off earlier. Look at all that bump steer and all that strain. It's just going right on this. You know, and I'm not complaining and being a little crybaby. I'm just bringing that up because there's some people out there that are imagining that they can motorize this and run it like a real RC car. And I'm telling you right now, if you do, the front wheels are gonna fly off of it. Okay, so that's a nice little bag of extra parts it came with. So we're only four stickers gas lid license plate ac vent and the dash gauges so i'm guessing this is download the instructions online now one very cool thing in the fifth manual when you get through building it it's going to show you how exactly to put all the motorized stuff in there if you choose to do that i honestly think this thing is too heavy and if you did motorize it it might go one mile an hour but it's there to do it if you want to so they call this an eighth scale. Let's talk about that real quick. It's actually more like a 10th scale. This is a 10th scale Jeep. That's just like my real one. And if you kind of start looking at them, it does make sense. This is kind of like the size of how a Jeep would be. So this is an eighth scale Porsche, which really is eighth scale. And you can kind of see real quick that that is a 10th scale Hummer. And here's a gallon of water on the Hummer so you can see exactly how big it is if you have no idea. So another issue with the number two axles fitting loosely into any kind of piece like that, you would have to switch them around. I think right here we had some loose fits, see? Very, very loose fits. And you kind of just got to put it together or you'll be messing with it forever so building this it felt 100 percent exactly like legos these are 100 percent interchangeable talking about that kind of stuff why doesn't lego copy kata give that crap right back to them for the piece count they can sell this for three three hundred and fifty dollars and imagine getting a genuine lego hummer like this i would buy it over this one in one second this thing is so bad ass i am not gonna lie i love it so much best building blocks ever made and it wasn't even by lego go buy this thing right now i promise you you will not regret it and if you hate it for some reason throw it on freaking ebay and let somebody else enjoy it if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching and i'm gonna start doing lego videos again f those haters thank you for watching